Hey, it's me again. Back here on uh, North X Show Quickie, episode number three. As I roll down the road here south of south of Fargo, as my CB makes noise, so I turned it down there. Uh, yeah, back again. Hey, uh, thanks to those of you who have commented on uh, the past two that I've done. Uh, I see I'm getting a few views, so I guess I really don't know why I'm actually doing this, but I'll keep doing it, I guess, if for no other reason than to, to kill a little time in the truck here. And the fact that I can do it, I mean, this is amazing to me that I can that I can do this while I'm driving, so why not? Uh, information overload. That's where I'm at today. I'm, uh, I've had it with the phone. I've had it with the crap I'm hearing on the radio. Uh, politically, the uh, it's just, it's driving me nuts. Just, not because anything I've heard in particular, just, it's too much. I need an escape. And you're probably like me, you probably don't want to hear anything having to do with the election and all the bullshit that's going on with that. But with the debate coming up tonight, uh, I figured I got to at least say something about it and uh, try and find out what you think about it. I'm, I'm sure, you know, after tonight we'll, we'll have some input and discussion on what everybody thinks of what happened and who everybody thinks won or didn't win or whatever. But I had the thought today, and I, it kind of stretches into last night. I was on this exact same stretch of road right here, as a matter of fact, I-29. And I was in a car with my mom and my daughter, and we were coming back from my son's football game. And something came up as we were talking about uh, politics or the debate. I remember what it was. I said, I'm, I'm hoping I'll you know, be by a TV tomorrow night so I can actually watch the debates. And my mom from the back seat, hi, mom, by the way. I know you watch these, so I figured I'd better say hi. Uh, <laughs> uh, my mom from the back seat says, ah, the debates, you know, is it really going to make any difference who wins? And I kind of stopped for a second, and then my daughter, who was sitting next to me, kind of said the same thing. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference, really. Is, it really, is anything really going to change? And it caused me to stop for a minute because my mom, who's in her 60s, and my daughter, who's in her 20s, basically have the, the same outlook on politics. That doesn't make any difference anyway. It's all a bunch of bullshit. And I, and I guess I, I have a hard time disagreeing with them. Uh, I consider myself to be pretty politically aware. I pay attention. I listen to a lot of stuff, both sides, right and left. If you know me, you know I'm, I'm pretty conservative. But you also probably know I have a pretty open mind. And, uh, and I understand people that are on the other side. I understand everybody's got a, 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 a belief system. I don't challenge that part of it. Uh, but it just got me thinking. Will anything change? Well, I think it will. I think it. I think there's a lot at stake here, depending on who gets elected, uh, as far as the future of the country. I, I think it's really important, and that's what led me to today's question, which is: is if you're not going to watch the debate, should you really be voting in November? Because I mean, if you're not even in, interested in it enough to really look and see the, the the difference, and trust me, tonight there will be a stark contrast between Obama and and Romney. Regardless of which side you come down on politically, the, it will be apparent who's for what. So if you don't watch those tonight, if you don't watch the debates tonight, and for that matter, the next two after that, should you really be going into the voting booth and voting for president? I, I, I don't think so. And hey, this is nothing against my mom or my daughter. Again, they're like most of you guys out there probably. Had it up to here with political ads and this one lied and that one lied, blah, blah, blah. It all becomes white noise in the end. It's like, ugh, enough of this crap. And I blame the politicians for that because, truthfully, the reason why everybody gets to that point is because we don't have statesmen trying to run this country anymore. We don't have true patriots. We don't have people that really care about making this country what it should be, what it was designed to be, what it was founded to be. I don't I don't think that we have a lot of that. I, I can't say none, but we have a lot less of it now than we used to, and people re, people realize that, and that's why people like my mom and my daughter go, is anything really going to change? Probably not. And if that's the case, if nothing's really going to change no matter who gets elected, then that the, the fact is the United States as we know it is gone. The dream that our founding fathers had many, many years ago is over, if that's what is the truth. I'm still holding out hope, about that much hope, not much more. Uh, I've teetered back and forth between is this country over or not, and I guess I 
I'm holding out just that much faith in you, the people out there, uh, to take an interest and do enough to make a difference to keep this country going uh, in the direction that it should be going. And I know we can debate about what direction that is. But there's the question for today. If you're not going to invest in your time in the debates and actually look at what these two guys are talking about and make a decision based on that, then should you really be voting? I mean, granted, I understand. Most of us out there, the country has never been more divided than it is today. Uh, most of us have probably made up our minds who we're going to vote for based on our political ide ideology. That's we already decided. And there's not a lot that's going to change our minds probably but maybe you're one of these people that knows just enough but not quite enough and maybe these debates would sway you one way or the other so again i ask uh it's northern exposure show at gmail.com you can comment on uh, ustream as well or on facebook uh if you're not going to vote if you're not going to vote if you're not going to watch the debates should you really be voting in november all right, so there you go. That was uh, today's question as I roll into uh, the big town of Fargo once again. I always seem to do these at the same time and end up ending them at the same time, which is good because it is uh, 5.38 and rush hour traffic is no doubt going to be the case. Well, rush hour for Fargo. I, but you understand what I'm saying. I'm not I'm not driving a, a Yugo here. I'm driving a big truck, so i got to watch myself. So, all right, that's it. Uh, I'm going to do away with the information overload and I'm going to do what I do when I need to get out of that mindset of too much BS happening. It's called rock and roll music. There you go. Oh yeah. This makes it all go away. Catch you next time.